maybe. There we go. To point out that Jeep, I've sold that before. I've sold you guys. I've sold those for parts because that's all that's worth. You knocked my block off. Had one of those as a kid. Who else did? See that gold one? That's an Aurora, known as a cigar box. That's the special one. Yep, 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 yep. It's an old Snoopy, huh? There's something else that Aurora made, models. They also did uh, dollhouse furniture. Sorry about the glare. Bunch of books. I went through a couple of them. Some of them are worth some good money and uh, a lot of marks. Um, I already have and here's a bunch of wicker stuff really have no interest in it there we go back to the toys please yeah check this buddy out this thing's cool These are marks. This is from the Mark Zoo set. Each one of those animals go for roughly five to ten bucks. I didn't see any comps for the uh, set. So that'll be something I'm going after. I figure I should get about forty bucks for all that. Check out these old puzzles. A lot of cards there I recognize, nothing worth picking up. I pretty much got the playing card market figured out. These are just pieces, it's not a complete set or anything, all the Legos that you see. Yeah, I don't know about the duck. <laughs> kind of weird. Kind of creepy. Poorly made. Poorly put together. There's a lot of models here that uh, are put together models. You know, plastic models. I have sold things like that before that were already put together. But people buy them for parts because there is a way to take the glue apart. Professionally, I guess.
A lot of those are Mark's toys. I'll probably be going after all those. These are all models that have been put together. I just really have no interest in them. They move slow and they don't sell for much when they're already put together. Hope I'm doing a good job of showing you guys stuff. I'm my video quality is improved mostly because I'm using my phone now. <clears throat> I've learned how to use music behind my stuff as you can tell. Let me know what you think. All I want to do is improve and make things better. Learn is about. I'm, I'm all about research, you know, learning things. Learning editing has been uh, an adventure, to say the least. These are models. I thought they might have been die cast. If they were, it would have been nice. Tinker Toys and Lincoln Logs. You'll find them at every other auction. This thing sells very well, but the box is roached. You can see that's called foxing. Pick up the train and try and find a, a maker's name and it's not there. That Tonko will probably sell for 20 to 25. And it's at this point I'm talking to somebody. Probably. There you go. Fisher Price Dinosaur for, Farm. <laughs> Jurassic Park Fisher Price. There you go. Had one of those as a kid. Well, I was an old kid, but. Check this stuff out. That's a Mark's, that service center there, that's a Mark's toy. And the gas pumps are worth some big bucks. If they're in good condition. Of course, if you'll hear me say that constantly, if they're in good condition. Does it work? <laughs> it's about 20 pounds of marble, and I'm, I'm not exaggerating. The guy that brought in all these toys, well, he's deceased now, but the guy that had all these toys collected marbles, and they sold off his marble collection last week online. One of the marbles went for over $500, which is just ridiculous. But, you know, hey, I've been trying to learn the marble market, but mm, I'm learning so many other things, I, you know. Check these out. Each one of those figures is worth about 20 bucks. That green alien is worth about 50. And it's got all the uh, stuff in it. That's um, Major Matt Matterson or something like that. There's the alien. He's worth about 50 bucks on his own. And the whole playset's in there, and I can't find any comps for the playset other than Worth Point, so. 
Yeah, we'll see. I'm interested in that, which means everybody else is too. G.I. Joe, man, I see these things a lot. Kind of takes me back to the days of being a kid. Fisher Fresh Barn, the metal one. More models. This is all the G.I. Joe stuff. The big dolls, obviously. But it is all G.I. Joe. All these clothes. Those space helmets back there go for good money. Of course, I got to look at those. Uh, the uh, model inside there was already put together and kind of blows. A bit of a tricky. Showing you how big it is compared to my hand. And I got big hands. All these flower frogs. That guy that uh, had the toys, he put all of his marbles on there to display them, and he had them all around the house, I was told. It sounds like a, a damn good idea. So, yeah, I thought that was neat because, you know, these things aren't worth more than uh, maybe a buck or two each, except for the uh, nicer ones. Mark's Toys. There's a lot of Johnny West stuff here. Go look the stuff up. Stuff is worth getting. And Josie West. I mean, the I don't show it here, but there's uh, they've got uh, horses. On the top shelf, and they're Johnny West horses, and they go for 40 bucks each. Yeah, I don't know about the bison. Or is it a buffalo? Pretty comped it. It's not really worth all that much. Cool graphics, though. I mean, come on, who doesn't like the peanuts? Come on. These are die cast. More March toys. Buddy Ells and Tonkas down there.